Hey guys, Keyboard again. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 more mistakes that you guys make. So number one is not collecting ice. Ice is absolutely the best filler in the game, and it is collected very quickly. So make sure to collect it during rain and winter. You can then use the ice to make meatballs with one monster meat and three ice in the crock pot. Number two is Chester. He should not be used as a mobile chest due to his low speed. Don't use him this way. Use him as a meat shield. Or just another stationary chest, that works too. Or if neither of those suit your fancy, leave him on the ground like the useless chest he is. Number three, look at this picture on the screen. It's just an ordinary base, right? Wrong. That science machine and Presti Hattitator should not be there due to having a shadow manipulator and alchemy engine already. Just go ahead and hammer those for some extra resources. Number four, inventory. Nitre and marble are almost useless. Like, seriously? Just leave them there behind unless you have a very specific plan to use them, as your inventory can be better used with other items. Also, please, please, for the love of God, just drop off your stuff once you get to the base. You don't need to carry six stacks of flint with you. Please, please. Number five, the Tam O'Shanter. Everybody's favorite sanity restoring hat. I have many videos where I mention the extreme value of nightmare fuel. Link at the top right. And the best way to get it is by staying at low sanity. Items that raise sanity, like the Tam O'Shanter, should only be used if you are in the ruins or preparing for a boss fight, or using it for insulation. As these are the only times you shouldn't want to be insane, or the upsides outweigh the downsides. Really, you should just be wearing a helmet and killing those shadow creatures. Number six, this is for Don't Starve Together only, but pick characters that synergize with your teammates. If the server has a Wolfgang or WX78, your best probable choice is Wickerbottom. If the server has two Webbers, you're probably going to want another Webber so you can base. I have a guide on these character synergies at the top right of the screen, so go ahead and click on that if you aren't certain what characters work well together. Number seven, inefficiency via fuel. The fuel you put in the fire is important. Do whatever keeps your night warm, or cold if you're in the summer, and lit up with the least amount of time used. A few of the very good items to put in are logs, Beefalo wool, if you decide to let them live, which I'd never do, any low percentage log suit or grass suit, as it can still fuel a fire pit to full even if it's at 1% durability. And of course manure, depending on circumstances. These are all great for fueling fire pits, but the most efficient method for fire and light is a scaled furnace, with heat stones around it to provide light. Number 8, not staying at high hunger. This one especially applies to those of you who are playing as Wolfgang. Stay high hunger when possible, it will allow you to go on longer journeys to go find more food without having to bail out, which can help you quite a bit because you'll waste less time looking for food while on the journey or by taking two trips. Number 9, knowing what you should ignore. You might think I would recommend killing everything, but some things should just be walked by. A few of these are the moose goose, if you aren't looking to make a weather pane, a spider queen, tentacles, killer bees, and merms. These are just a few, but they're a really big waste of time to fight usually, so just leave them be. Number 10 is retreating. Almost everyone has had that one world where they die from being a little bit too arrogant. Sometimes you just gotta know when to bail. Brother, you should give this video a like if you liked it. And if you really liked it, you should hit that subscribe button. And if you disliked it, you're not a bro, okay?